here's what we ended up with it's the uh, new hyper looks like e-ride mid-drive mountain bike so it's the mid-drive 29er um, that they have out now so that's it right there so I wanted to try it out um, came from Walmart um, not cheap by any means but cheap for a mid-drive electric bike so so I bought it um, I'll put all that stuff down in the down in the video description so you can kind of see what that is but um, yeah let's get this out and uh, get this thing open I'm excited to see it charge it up and see how it does let's do this so yeah like I said the hyper uh, mid-drive um, electric mountain bike so this is exactly how it arrived I mean you can see um, well you may not be able to see the ends load out of the box I mean I can I can see the fork right here this is what this is how it came looks like the brake levers scratched up I can see the seat the tire but looks like uh, there was something in some of that packaging that which is gone so let's get this open This is the packaging that I was talking about was I mean it was laying here it looks like there was something in it at some point spokes bent crank arm scratched out of pieces There's the charger. Let me lay this down. <sighs> yeah. Not impressed with uh, my shipping experience. I'll tell you that. So the wheel, the front wheel so far looks okay. see that 160 front rotor through axle snafu seat don't look bad but we'll see how comfortable it is chain has been knocked off the front sprocket. There's some little caps to something. I don't know what they was on. And you can see how the crank arm is scratched all to pieces. Okay, so a little display there. Looks pretty nice. Shimano little twist shift that they call it a what is that a revo shift oh, there's the keys just the wonder we ain't lost a bunch of stuff out of the box we'll cut that real good didn't it Okay, so probably not the best fork, but uh, seems pretty nice for what it is. Uh. 
All right, so let's get this thing uh, down where we can take a better look at it, and uh, I'll kind of show, kind of show you around, and uh, we'll look at some stuff on it, some things that I think could have been better, but you know, I ain't rode it yet, so I don't know. And I'm sure it'll be fine. You know, I'm excited, like really excited to uh, test this thing out. Just want to hurry up and get it down, get it put together. Uh, I think you got to charge the battery for four hours, um, but we'll look at the, well, I was going to say we'll look at the manual, but there is none. Okay, there it is. So it's in with the charger. Um, I don't know if anything's missing out of this where the box was uh, so badly damaged, but I want to say that somewhere on the box it said charge it for at least four hours. So that's what we'll do. Cause I'm, uh, I'm really excited about this thing. I, I hope it uh, performs well. Um, yeah. All right, let's get this down and take a better look at it. All right, so we got it off the uh, packaging. Um, I'm assuming I'm gonna have to uh, set the little magnet for the um whatever sensor there so give you a closer look at this uh tektro 160 in the back as well cable brakes so it's got the mid drive electric motor uh not sure how long these crank arms are Can't see in there. Well, we'll look. Got an exoform uh, air shock on the rear, and I believe these are all bushings, not burns in the all the uh, suspension. Got a XCM 32 uh, front fork. Here's the uh, the front axle. So, looks nice. I don't think that's a tapered head tube though. Looks like a straight steer. Yeah, looks pretty nice. Uh, like I say, I'm excited to test it out. I'm gonna get it all set up. And uh, we'll throw the front wheel on, uh, charge the battery up, and uh, give this thing a test. Yeah. I believe it'll be all right. There's where the key goes. We'll take the battery out, charge it up. I ain't even got to look at the the chain ring side yet. We'll see what uh, derailleur it has. And uh, looks like a Quando hub. It uh, a bolt on hub or a bolt on wheel. It's not a quick release or through axle. And it's a Shimano Turney TZ. You can see that there. You can see it better when I get it down. We'll look at it a little closer. You know, that chain's all kind of whack there. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get this thing uh, going. What does eight to 10 Newton meters feel like? About like that. We'll say so, because I have no idea. All right, so we got the wheel on. Let's stick the seat on. Uh, I'm debating on putting the pedals on there. They're horrible. I mean, these are Nico, Neko, however you say that. But I mean, 
barely can turn them i mean bad it was worse than the ones that came on my mongos or the ledge x2 yeah i'm curious as to how comfortable this seat's going to be it, it, like i said it looks pretty good and that feels like a bigger seat post 30.4 yeah so that's a bigger a bigger seat post so that'll be good you can get a, a good dropper post for this if you want if that's your thing okay this seat won't go far oh this uh pivot joint here has a through bolt might end up having to cut the seat post off so i don't know about a dropper i mean however long a dropper post i've never had one so most walmart bikes has a kickstand if you're wanting a kickstand you'll have to put one on yourself because this don't come with one which i don't care i would have took it off anyway but still just so you know so let's get this thing down on the ground and uh look at it a little better all right so the crank arms look like lasco i guess that's a brand 175 millimeter i'm not sure on how many teeth are on the uh front chain ring but look how this uh pedal does here when you go to pedal backwards it just spins inside the motor it don't don't spin the chain so again i'm not sure what ratios are on this but this i believe is um it's not a cassette so is that a free wheel not a free hub is that right i don't always get those mixed up but yeah shimano turny tz so right out the box shifted through all the gears perfect uh i was um surprised by that because you know i'm used to i'm used to walmart bikes but um this this air shock you know the the what was it exaform and the sr suntour uh night and day difference than the ride on uh, the x2 uh with it's factory uh, suspension so i'll probably end up getting one of those exaform shocks maybe to put on this not sure if i'll get the same front fork but i'm gonna probably get an air fork for the front of this thing and um yeah i like the way this rides it still needs some adjustment in the the uh derailleur and stuff but this yeah this surprised me how well it worked right out of the box literally right out of the box <clears throat> and it was hanging halfway out of the box too when i got it so the seat is not the most comfortable to me but you know everybody's got their own preference i'm going to adjust this back a little bit uh the size of the back i want to say this is a medium size uh, i'm six foot and it with the seat all the way down hitting this uh, pivot point is i mean it's it's about right it might be just a fuzz too tall I, I might need to trim that just a little bit but as far as the reach you know i don't know all the the measurements the head tube angle or anything but um surprised me how well it rode you know i don't even have the battery in it i've not tested it out um with the the motor assist so I don't know. And I may need some more iron this. You can see just me riding around, hopping up down. However far that is, that's how much travel that I've got out of it so far. But no, no real strange noises. Um, it rode, you know, like I said, I pedaled around just basically in the flat. Um, but it felt like just any other bike, except for just a little, just a touch heavy. It felt like he was in like, the next higher gear trying to do something that you'd want to do in say a lower gear but anyway it it wasn't that big of a deal to uh, pedal without 
uh, the motor assist which now granted I don't have the battery in it so it's a little bit would be a little more extra weight but still the way it sits right now it just just a fuzz heavy felt like to me like it didn't really feel that that big of a difference so these are Kenda tires um, 29 by 2.2 uh, I haven't measured the rim width but I guess that's a yeah it looks like a double wall rim so I think it's the same size tires that's on this 29 by 2.2 and it looks like as far as clearance goes I don't know if you can see that real well or not but you could go for a little wider tire if you wanted there's some clearance down there in the front yeah obviously you got quite a bit there so you could probably you could probably put these uh, uh 2.6 wide tires on this maybe if you wanted now, i may go up a little bit or may just get a little more aggressive tire i don't know yet right now i just uh can't wait for the battery to charge up so i can ride it so i'm seeing nothing on the battery uh the charger's got a little red light on it nothing still lighting up on on the battery so uh, i think it said it takes four hours i put it on about seven so <laughs> 11 o'clock tonight i guess i can test it out but yeah uh my battery's about to die so i'm gonna end this video here and we'll pick back up when uh when we get the battery charged well here's the hyper e-ride mid-drive mountain bike um i've put all of uh let's see 1.9 miles on there so this little computer you got uh trip uh odometer your average uh mile an hour max speed uh, your cadence and a trip so you got five levels of assist yeah and then there's a power button up here and then this little walk button which i've yet to get to work i don't need to look in the manual and see how to, to actually be able to use that but i've not got it to work yet um power button here on the battery so so far uh i like everything about it um you know obviously you always want a bicycle that's lighter weight so yeah i wish it was lighter but oh well um i'm probably going to cut the seat post off like i say it's uh just a fuzz too tall for me and um uh i'll try to get it down to where it's a little more comfortable but it's not bad it's just a little bit too tall so far the motor's been real impressive um even the front forks for being what they are um just on my type of riding you know it's gravel roads well, i got a few little trails that i ride around here at home but um not that bad actually rides rides pretty good for what it is i'll still probably upgrade them but as of right now just out of the box it uh, does really good so uh yeah i'm pleased not much on the brakes you know obviously mechanical disc brakes aren't the best and then this is a heavy bike on top of that so probably do some upgrades there as well um but the motor i don't know a lot about the motor but for 250 watts it's really really impressive uh to me uh like this heel here i i don't you know obviously heels don't um show up well on video but with um say the the schwinn axle or the ledge uh x2 you know you're in low gear and for me it's a little bit of effort going up there it's no problem it's just you know you're you're putting in some work 
this even in assist one and this is geared a little higher than those bikes again i'll look up the specs here and um put them in this video for the the ratios and stuff but this being geared a little bit higher i believe uh even with this the uh and when you're level one assist it climbs up there no problem you put it in five it's just it's a it's a joke how well it climbs that hill and this is my first uh, e-bike so I, I don't have a lot to compare to surely not uh you know any five ten thousand dollar mountain bikes but for me and around here it's been super impressive and that's kind of always the hold back um in the mountains is you know the climbs you, you always don't you don't like the climbs you you want the downhill and um you wear yourself out quick uh in the mountains so this kind of takes a lot of that away so you can put in a longer uh a longer ride that's less tiring you know but you can uh have a lot of fun with this so that 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 makes a big difference to me so so far been great um and you see i ain't put two miles on it yet but i did ride it a little bit without the battery so the computer i, I guess wasn't tracking then um yeah so those are tektro aries brakes um again the shimano tourney yeah a few teeny tiny little sounds that i'm gonna track down um but it's been rock solid you know i mean i've Rode it a little hard. I'll measure these, uh, you know, these little grease marks and see kind of what kind of travel I'm getting, um, which I ain't hit nothing hard. You know, obviously uh, there ain't much here to uh, work out the suspension, but just a little bit of speed. But now on my other little roads around, it's it gets a little rough, and this is. Uh, um, really really good on those roads so far so uh yeah and yeah, we'll get a few more shots of this thing in motion and uh me and my jorts and flip-flops and uh yeah let's get it By looking at the uh, grease marks, I went about 60 uh, millimeters of travel on the front. The back, let's see what right here. About almost 30. So I think that's about normal for these. Uh, shocks so i probably need to adjust the pressure in that because like i say i haven't rode it super hard but already about maxing it out so i don't want to uh damage it so we'll adjust that um i'll probably cut the seat post off here in a second just to uh, be able to lower it down a little bit and uh yeah just a few small adjustments got a few tiny creaks you know noises and stuff down here this kind of sounds like plastic creaking um i don't know if something needs tightened up or if it's anything to worry about but um you know not too bad not not too annoying so um uh the benefits are uh uh outweighing those uh tiny annoyances so yeah um i'm gonna cut this seat post off and go for a little bit of a ride i'll tell you the first thing that i'll probably change is the tires so 
I can deal with the the brakes I can deal with the suspension but uh, there's hardly any grip with these tires in the you know kind of the wet grass or the even the gravels um, and uh, yeah that that needs rectified soon so that'll probably be my first um, first thing I swap out oh well maybe pedals I got pedals coming so yeah second thing I switch out will be tires so all right, let's cut this seat post off and uh, uh, try it out like that. So I cut an uh, inch off the seat post. So hopefully that's a little better uh, fit for me. Probably could use a little more, but that looks actually looks a lot better. Oh yeah, much better. Yeah, feels good now. All right, and we'll adjust the uh, brake lever on this side is sticking out too far that way. So I'm gonna adjust that. And uh, gonna ride uh, down my driveway and back, kind of see how it feels. Cause I'm not sure the exact amount of elevation and the distance, but I will, uh, I'll um, calculate that up and uh, See what that is. So I counted um, the teeth on the chain rings. So the front is a 38 tooth and the rear is a 14 to 34 um, free wheel. So it's not a cassette. Um, probably maybe be worth up, updating that or upgrading that eventually. But uh, I just climbed up my driveway, which is pretty steep, barely winded. I mean, feels like just riding any other bike um, on a slight incline. And it's it's actually like, I have to stop like 10 times to get up my driveway on a regular mountain bike. And uh, this done it all at once, no problem. Felt great, so I'm very pleased. Uh, the seat helped, you know, cutting the seat post down helped. Um, I may actually try a dropper post on this. I, I've never never uh, uh, ridden with one, so I think it'd be pretty neat 
to try out but um, tires and then brakes are my two biggies um, suspension yeah but though the tires and the brakes are the the biggies now the front if it had a 180 on the front might help but going down my driveway you can probably see how quick I was going um, I don't even know let's see if it registered what my top speed was yeah 25.9 so um i was doing 25 mile an hour down through there and it yeah it needed needed quite a bit of force to uh to stop i was two fingering it and uh squeezing pretty hard and it um still um wasn't trying to lock up every now and then it will try but the loose gravel help with that i guess but um yeah so far very pleased with the bike you know i mean i know they got to meet a certain price point and you know cut back on a few features to actually get the price like i say which i'll put in the uh in the description but yeah um i'm gonna ride some more um put a few more miles on this thing see how it does and see if any anything comes to light that could be a potential problem um i did round out a little bit one of these uh uh allen head bolts um had the right size thought i had it in there um deep enough but apparently i didn't round it out a little bit but i got a new stem coming in the way anyway for it so um or uh yeah yeah new one of these coming and um yeah let's just uh ride it and uh see what uh what all she needs but if you have any uh questions or anything put them in the comments or anything you want to know about the bike um like i said i didn't measure the the head tube angle or anything like that i, I don't know if that's even listed on their website i haven't looked there wasn't a whole lot of information yet on it so um yeah i wanted to put this out in case anybody was curious about the bike or uh um you know any questions they had about the bike or any concerns or whatever but yeah so far i'm uh i'm impressed with it and uh if you have any questions about it just let me know and i'll do my best to uh to get you some answers for it all right let's get on to the next one how about a little shameless uh kev central plug while i'm editing this video and having my morning coffee. 